Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Stop Motion Creator. Here is a short 20 second video clip of a man sitting on a park bench with his laptop and reading a newspaper. And here is the same video clip that I converted into a stop motion video. Here is the same video clip to which I applied a sketch effect. As you can see, you can take a regular video clip and make it eye catching. Stop Motion Creator is a desktop software which has a very simplistic user interface. You start by adding a video clip using this button down below or just drag and drop the video. The video will be imported in this preview section and depending on the length of your video clip you can use this trim tool to trim your video. This is just a 20 second video so I won't trim it. Next you use this add marker button. You can use a freeze and speed marker. In terms of the freeze settings, you will need to take into account the duration and speed of your video clip and accordingly adjust the settings. My video clip is 20 seconds in duration so if I wanted to use the full footage and reduce the duration to around 5 seconds, I can use the freeze settings of 0.1 duration and 10 for the frame density. You will have to play around with these settings to determine what works best for you. Click the complete button to apply the freeze settings. You will see the freeze entry in the history panel on the right. Let's take a quick preview. As you can see the animation is pretty fast. So for example if I change these freeze settings to 0 0.2 and 12 you will see that the stop motion is a bit slower compared to the previous settings and the animation happens in around 8 seconds. The closer these numbers are, the faster the animation. Similarly, the further apart these numbers are, the slower the animation. Once you're happy with the stop motion animation, you can render the video using the generate button below. You will see this dialog box pop up. As you can see, there are many options. First, you need to choose a format. You've got MP4, MOV, and GIF. Next, you choose the aspect ratio, including square video, as well as a Facebook page header. Next, choose the resolution. I'll go with 1280 by 720. And finally, choose the frames per second. And then click the export button. Bear in mind that this is not a video creator. It is a stop motion creator, so you will need to create a series of stop motion video clips and then put them together using a video editor or video creator like Explaindio. In the front end product, you only get the freeze option. In the pro upgrade, you get the freeze as well as the trim tool and the speed tool. I have beta tested stop motion creator and have asked for some enhancements which we hope to see in the upcoming updates after launch. To get Stop Motion Creator, check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. You can check my Stop Motion Creator demo, and if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.